Uh, the plan for the trial is to test in uh, close to 400 patients. That's going to be the total amount of patients you're going to enroll in a trial. The trial is going to involve about 50 sites uh, globally. The trial has a what's what's called a randomized controlled design uh, and adaptive design as well. So the idea here is that uh, in order to understand if this new medication uh, works and is efficacious to improve uh, the you know the, the disease process, will uh, will have half of the group is going to have the medication, the other half is going to receive the placebo medication. The placebo basically is, is the same look in infusion. It's an infusion of about 30 minutes a day, uh, but without the active drug. So everyone's going to receive all the supportive care that's needed for to treat the infection, uh, but half is going to receive the new medication and half is going to receive the placebo. So the idea here is that by the end of the study, we can understand if if there is any effect, any positive effect from the new medication compared to the patients that uh, receive this standard of care. This, uh, this medication has been tested uh, in the other coronaviruses that we had in the past and it seems to have a definitely a solid in vitro activity and also studies in animals have shown activity of the medication but we, we don't know if the medication will have the same effect in human beings and that's why we, we need to uh, test in this randomized trial. We want to try to enroll these patients as early as possible. As, as with most of the viral diseases, um, the earlier you start the medication, uh, the more efficacious it's going to be if the medication has activity against the virus. So it, it specifically in this clinical trial, uh, we want the patients to be enrolled within 72 hours. We want to really catch these patients nice and early uh, to give them the best chance to have the, uh, the positive effects of any treatment that uh, there is a uh, uh, expectance that this outbreak is still ongoing and maybe get worse and so it depends on how you know how the infection spreads out uh, the, the try can be done really fast or really slow you know, it's going to depend on how the whole situation evolves so we're going to give the this new medication for up to 10 days that that's the way that the trial is defined but if the patient improves faster than that, can leave the hospital early. If the patient needs longer, the patient is going to stay longer. But that's, that's going to be the, the allocation of the treatment is going to be for a full 10 days, uh, one injection.